I'm Scott Margolin, Vice President of Technical here at Tyndale, and welcome to another episode of The Dangers of Improper Wear in Flash Fire. The mistake we're showcasing today is the mannequins wearing quality flame-resistant clothing, but, as is all too common, the coverall is unzipped for most of the torso, pretty frequent when it's hot out. This exposes a flammable base layer with, I hope, predictable consequences. Let's take a look. So you can clearly see the white flammable cotton base layer exposed by the improperly unzipped coverall. Comes our propane release and a flash fire. It barely impacts the mannequin at all. It's on there for less than a second. And yet you can see that the cotton t-shirt is already on fire. And that fire very rapidly spreads, not just up, but also around the torso of the mannequin and in the back as evidenced by all the smoke pouring through the back of the coverall. All of that smoke you see is smoldering. It might not be orange fire on the cotton t-shirt, but that t-shirt is over 400 degrees Fahrenheit, charring right around the back. If we bring it to the crowd and open the coverall, you can see what I was just talking about more clearly. The t-shirt is almost entirely gone over a large section of the torso, and even though it's 30 or 40 seconds later at this point, continues to smolder. You wouldn't necessarily call that burning, but it is carbonizing, it is high heat, and it is continuing to burn your skin if that's a person and not a mannequin. So that was a cotton base layer, clearly a bad idea. We're gonna repeat this, but we're gonna do it this time with a meltable base layer instead. Have a look. We're gonna repeat that exposure, but this time with a meltable flammable base layer of a dry fit material like you frequently wear for athletics or when it's hot. Comes a propane release and the flash fire, and again, the total impact on the mannequin of the fire is less than a second, but you can see that the meltable base layer is entirely gone because you no longer see the bright yellow, you see black, which is the color of the mannequin surface. You do not want molten polymer all over your skin. We have to sand these mannequins afterward to get some of this molten polymer off of there. And you can also see significant carbonization and melting even in areas that were covered by the FRC because the flames were able to get up inside the flame resistant garment because it was unzipped. This would result in substantial body burn in areas that should not be burned and would not have been burned at all had the flame resistant cover all been properly worn and fully secured. So it's pretty apparent that in both cases, cotton or a meltable base layer, you have to wear this PPE as instructed by the manufacturer. And that includes zipped up or buttoned up, tucked in, sleeves down, et cetera. Because if you don't, you expose either skin or a flammable or meltable base layer with catastrophic consequences. Thank you.